know in cricket we say uh, form is temporary but class is permanent uh, so that applies to the greatest batsmen and bowlers uh, brian lara or sachin tendulkar or virat kohli had streaks of bad performances uh, and well then after some time you'll see them getting back to their elements and uh, hitting back injuries after injuries so see there is something about the quality of uh, when we talk about economy it's not just the current performance that uh, anybody should be taking into account yes you are right uh, it is uh, the, the chances are high that we might level up to some uh, by a contraction of say 8% or 7% of gdp for this year but then you know what is driving india's economy it's not just uh, fate or uh, some kind of uh, uh, luck that is driving india's economy india's economy is driven by solid fundamentals and also we have uh, demographic uh, uh, dividend at our as our advantage so now 23.9 percentage contraction is really something to worry about but then what why, uh, what about the long term performance long term performance you see even today uh, when the results of the automobile say for this quarter has come up uh, uh, the the, Q, uh, uh, the august uh, sales report has come up we see 19.6 percentage increase in sales as compared to august of 2019 so this is soon after uh, the uh, lockdown is over so the reach yes the economy is recovering but it will take some time uh, for it to get into shape now coming to the question how does the uh, this effect uh, uh, a prospective mechanical engineer or some graduate say in 2024 uh, graduate in mechanical uh, engineering how would is it uh, going to affect <clears throat> see you are an economist you should be in a better position to say this but still uh, i'll still uh, put across my views uh here are few things how do we analyze an economy we look at three major things what to produce and what and whom to uh, who will produce it who will distribute it and finally who is going to consume and uh, which branch of engineering has maximum investment when it comes to this process of uh, production including what to produce and uh, who is going to produce it obviously it it is mechanical engineering and all the developed advanced economies uh, so far are proofs of that now uh, america japan germany and even uh, today when we see china in its in such a solid you know, uh, position uh, in world economies is basically because of its backbone in manufacturing nobody can deny this as a fact mechanical engineering can Uh, we can say that it stands on three major pillars they are manufacturing maintenance and management the three m's of mechanical engineering so if one has a prediction for 2020 scenario uh, i would say given the huge advantage of uh, demographic uh, dividend that india has which uh, now in short means uh, we have a higher ratio of working age population as compared to non working age population what we should see a surge in manufacturing uh, in say uh, a matter of two years uh, and it would also of course it will depend upon the right kind of policies that any nation adopts that that goes without saying uh, but there is in so much uh, so much margin of error uh, in a span of 3 to 4 years and as uh, dr jk already mentioned there is already a realignment of manufacturing happening in the world with many companies moving away from uh, china some are moving to vietnam some are moving, uh, trying to move to korea japan has already put uh, given incentives to japanese manufacturers to move their base away from china now these things are happening these are not um, coming out of the blue uh, so india is definitely one of these preferred destinations so that means we are going to have more jobs uh, and th- and this is not an illusion this is going to happen so in that scale um, i would say by 2024 any graduate in mechanical engineering should be in a position to find 
not just any job but possibly some of their dream jobs uh, we already have a boom in space industry that's very interesting thing to note india of uh, uh, at least four uh, major startups uh, in space segment and one of them have already managed to test uh, a rocket engine of themselves skyroot and uh, you know and one it's uh, uh, i guess its technical officer is an alumni of iit madras uh, which is mayon alma mater uh, and many of them are based in south india and that's very interesting uh, chennai based hyderabad based and bangalore based institution so there are people uh, my view is that it's not the just the major companies which are going to be the recruiters but these niche startups world you might actually find your dream job and be part of a you know a big project that is going to make an impact in future uh, so that's my uh, opinion that in 2024 we should rather see a surge of jobs and uh, i don't think uh, for a classic engineering discipline like mechanical engineering the graduates should worry in that span of time yes for one year we might be in a little difficult position but then yeah waiting for maybe 6 more months will pay off